Okay, today's lesson is going to teach you how to draw a chalk pastel parrot. So here's my sample. You'll need a clean piece of white drawing paper and a pencil to get started. So I want my parrot to take up the majority of my paper. So the first thing I'm going to do at the top of my page is I'm going to start out by making a curve for the head. And that curve is going to fall off the back side of the page where the neck goes. Okay. Once you've drawn that part, the next part is going to be the beak. So for the beak, I'm just going to start out by making kind of a shallow rainbow shape. And then it's going to curve down almost like a, a shark tooth. It'll curve down like this, and then it's going to come back up. Okay. Um, the next step for my parrot is going to be to have, it has another little section that comes off of that beak. Kind of curves around and connects back to the shark tooth looking part. All right, and then once again, I'm going to start at the corner of where that beak begins. It's going to come back. This is going to be the part that comes under the eye. Kind of a crazy curved shape. And then we're going to do the parrot's um, belly and neck area. So from here, I'm just going to kind of come down where the beak is, and that belly is going to curve out and down at the bottom. I'll just kind of look that up so you can see how it fell off the bottom of my page. Okay. Then over here in this area, we're going to draw a wing, and for that wing, I'm just going to do a curved spot there. Okay. So I'm ready to give my parrot an eye. So what I'm going to do is draw kind of a curved area, and then the eye will go inside of there. So the eye is going to be football shaped. Okay, and then I'll put a circle on the inside of that football shape with another circle for the pupil. Okay. Now, once you get your parrot completely drawn, I want you to go back and lightly erase those pencil lines so they don't show. Once all of your lines are lightly erased, you're going to need a set of chalk pastels. So I'm going to start with my chalk pastels. You're also probably going to need some paper towels um, for blending purposes. So you might make sure you have a few of those close by as well. Okay. So I'm going to actually start with a dark green color for my pastel set, and I'm going to start um, right above the beak in the head area, and I'm going to bring that darker green up from the beak, okay? I want it to have a little bit of shadow in there, so I'm actually going to take a little bit of my black and I'm just going to color some black right on top of that green. It doesn't have to be everywhere but I just want to make sure I have a little bit of that in there for shadow, okay? My next color is going to be a bright green or a lime green color, and I'm just going to color once again right over the top of the green that I've already used. Um, these colors are going to be blending together. That's one of the things that I love about chalks is how well they do blend. So I'm just kind of bringing that green up and around the head area, okay? Um, from that green, it's going to kind of turn into a, a blue color. So I'm just taking from my palette here, I've got several different blue greens or aqua colors that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to start out with the greener of them and just kind of mix a little bit of that in. And then it's going to start getting more blue as I go. So my next one is going to be just a little bit more teal colored. And once again, it's okay to color those right on top of the colors that you've already used. I'm just going to bring that color right up there next to the eye. Um, I think I will take that down the neck just a little bit more. And then I'm going to use my aqua blue color and I'm just going to kind of mix it right in over the top of that. So just coming right along where I've already colored, mixing colors on top of each other and bringing that color down the back side of my parrot's neck. 
Now I'm choosing some blues and green colors, maybe some yellows that I'm gonna be mixing in on my parrot. Um, you do not have to do the same colors. If you look on um, Google, you can search pictures of parrots. You can find parrots that are red with rainbow colored wings. So I do not expect or anticipate that your parrots are gonna look exactly like mine. You can make your parrots different colored. So once again, they do not have to be the same as mine. I'm gonna do a little bit of yellow in here, blend it in with that green, and just bring in that color down underneath the eye space. Once again, I left my pencil lines so that you guys could kind of see where I was working at. Um, on yours, I'm hoping that you will remove your pencil lines, that way they don't show. Do a little more yellow in this area. I actually think I'm gonna come back to my darker colors this time. I'm gonna bring in a little bit of black for some shadow right under this part of the beak. And that black is just gonna kinda of come down into the yellow a little bit. And then I'm gonna mix in some more of my darker greens. So in that black, I'm just gonna color right over that with some of that darker green, bringing that into my yellow as well. And then I'm gonna start bringing that down along the neck. So it kind of looks messy at this point, but once we start blending, you'll start noticing how those colors are all gonna start coming together. This is a little bit of my lighter green. Just coloring around that beak. I'm gonna come back to that later. I'll do that with some darker colors at the end. So again, just coloring right on top of the green, mixing those colors together. And I'm going to start bringing in some more yellows on the tummy as well. Mixing those up into the blues and all along the belly area. Okay, I'm even going to do a little bit of orange in with my yellow just to give it a little bit of shadow down towards the end or at the bottom here. So I'll lift that up so you can see. So just mixing in a little bit of orange with that yellow. If you feel like it's too bold, all you have to do is go back over the top of that again with a little more yellow. That will help mix it together. Okay, so now comes the fun part. I get to start doing some of the blending, okay? So you'll notice that the colors on my parrot from before are very smooth and even, okay? To get that look, what I did is I took a paper towel, okay? I actually used mine, I know we get really dirty with this activity, but I use this one, I wrap it right around my finger, and I'm gonna use that paper towel to start blending those colors together. So I'm starting down here with my orange, mixing it into my yellow, just rubbing those colors together, and then coming up into the blue-green area as well. You're gonna notice you get a lot of dust on your paper, so as that dust starts collecting, all you have to do is take it to the trash can, dump that extra dust off, and then you can kind of see how those colors are now starting to blend. So I'm gonna work those colors up towards the head as well. Just mixing them and blending them with that paper towel as I go. And like I said, you'll start seeing some of those dark sunlight colors coming together, and then the white that shows from the background of the paper will finally start disappearing. Now, I didn't want to get black all over my other colors, so you'll notice I saved these black areas for last. So I've just kind of shifted and got a new spot on my paper towel, 
blending that yellow in a little bit. And then I'm going to come over those darker areas where the black was. And I'll start blending those in as well. Once again, when it gets a lot of dust on it, just take it to the trash can, shake that dust off, and then you can take a look at how well your colors have blended. Okay, so I'm ready to do other colors too. I can do the beak. Um, for the beak on mine, I actually used a lot of gray and a little bit of black. So one of the tricks that I can teach you as far as not to get um, a lot of smears, if you set a paper towel over the parts you've already colored, then you can set your hand on it without smearing your work. So I'm going to go ahead and do some gray around the outside of my beak. I'm going to do that on the outer edge as well as on the inner edge. I'm going to leave just a little bit of white in the center. My intention there is to have some highlight when I go to blend those colors in. So I'm just doing some gray around the edges. I left some white in the center. And then I'm actually going to take my black to come right up here around the top of the beak. So I'm just going to do a little bit of black up there and then fill in some space like that. You know, sometimes it's hard to see through my hand. I'll move my hand here in just a minute. Like I said, it kind of looks messy until you start doing some blending. I'm going to do just a little bit of black down this front side and a little bit on the underside. Okay, not too much. Okay, then I'm ready to take a paper towel again. I'm going to wrap that around my finger for blending purposes. And then I'm just going to come in to the beak area and I'm going to start working those colors together. So I'm blending the grays and the blacks together. And then where this white spot is in the middle, I'm just going to kind of lightly brush over it so it kind of looks like it has a little bit of highlight through there. So I've colored it with the color from my paper towel. I'm going to shake off the dust into the trash and then kind of show you where I'm at with my finished one so you can see here where I've left that white space for a highlight. Okay. Now, your colors may be different than mine based on what type of parrot you're making. Maybe you're making a red parrot, and that's fine. But I'm going to show you how I colored on this section here. I took just a little bit of gray and used some gray around this curved edge. And then I used, it's kind of a cream color. It's not very dark at all, like a really pale yellow or cream. And then I took and blended that right over the top of those grays. And then I even mixed a little bit of white in up here on my original piece. So here's my original one. You can see where it has some white. My set of pastels actually does not have a white in it. So I'm just going to continue with my cream color, leaving a little bit of white space up there at the top. Okay. So once again, I'm going to take a paper towel. I'm just going to take that paper towel and wrap it around my finger like I had been doing. And I'm going to start blending those colors together. And then once I have them all blended the way I like, I can dump that onto the or into the trash can, the dusty part. Okay. And then I'm ready to do this section here. On my parrot, I made that section with oranges and yellows. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my yellow first. And I'm just coloring yellow here in the center. And then I'm going to go around the edges with some oranges. And I have a couple of different colors of oranges. I think I'm just going to use them both. Okay, so I'm going to take that darker orange down here towards the bottom part of it. And just start working that up. Maybe even a little bit of that darker right here in the corner. Okay, then I'll switch to my lighter orange. Just kind of coloring right over the top of where that yellow was. And then I might mix just a little more yellow in just to blend. So I'm just coloring right on top of that orange area. All right. My favorite part, paper towel. Wrap that around my finger and then blend. Sometimes you can tell when you dump the dust off in the trash, you can tell easier if there's other places that need to be blended or if you missed any places, okay? All right, my next part is going to be to do the wing. 
for the wing, I'm going to come in with a darker green. Following with a little bit of lighter green and moving into that teal blue color. You could add a little black in there if you need to for shadow. Slide that up so you guys can see. Okay, once I have all that on there, like I said, you can add a little bit of black if you just need a little shading or shadow parts. It doesn't have to go everywhere, but that kind of helps to define the corners and edges. I'm going to take my paper towel again and just start blending those colors together. Hoping that that wing kind of stands out a little more bold. And then I'm going to dust that off into the trash. You can see it's leaving a mess on my desk. I'll have to do some cleaning when I'm done. Okay, so I think I'm ready for the eye. I'm going to bring in my sample piece. Okay, so I've got some grays and yellows in underneath the eye. So I'm going to go back to that really pale cream color yellow that I had and a little bit of grays. So for the gray, I'm just going to take that gray and come right around where I lined the eye. And then I'm going to do a few little lines inside. Okay. I'm going to take that cream color and color right over the top of those grays. And then blend with my paper towel. I'm going to dump that in the trash, get the dust off. <clears throat> I'm going to take my brown next. I have a mess on my palette here. Okay, oops, wrong color. I'm going to take my brown. And I'm just going to define the eye space. I'm filling in that circle. And using the paper towel to blend that. Okay. I'm going to dump that into the trash. This is where the detail work starts coming in. I'm going to take my black, um, do a pupil on the inside of the eye. I'm not going to blend that pupil. I'm just going to leave it how it is. I'm just kind of outlining around the outside of the eye and the eyeball shape. Okay. And then I'm going to come right over the top of it. That line might need to be a little bit thicker, so it's okay to do that line a couple times just to make it stand out. Um, anywhere that you need to go back and add sharpness, so like if I need to come around that beak a little bit, or if I need to do a little bit here around the edges, I can fill that in with black as well. Okay, And then I have my parrot completely covered. The last step is choice for you. So I'll pull in my sample one. You just get to choose what color you want the background to be. You're going to color that background on there, take your paper towel and blend it, and then your piece is complete. When everything is all done, you'll get to sign it in the lower right corner, and um, I would like you to keep them in your boxes until I get back and we'll spray them with some sealer. So I hope you enjoy using your chalk pastels today.